वेलकम टू वर्ल्ड कैंप एशिया 2024 डे थ्री यस्टरडे वी हैड वेरी इंसाइटफुल सेशन फ्रॉम आर अमेजिंग स्पीकर्स सो प्लीज गिव ए बिग राउंड अपलॉज टू आर स्पीकर्स एंड आर अमेज इट वुड नॉट बी पॉसिबल विदाउट आर ऑर्गेनाइजर्स एंड वुलियंटियर्स सो प्लीज गिव ए बिग राउंड अपलॉज टू आर ऑर्गेनाइजर्स एंड एज वेल एज आर वुलियंटियर्स एंड फॉर यू एज वेल सो आर यू एक्साइटेड ये so uh, our first talk will be something about contribution and that is something i am very passionate about as well and uh, i can see many familiar faces with in audience with whom i worked on various projects so before starting i would like to ask some questions how many of you are uh, contributing to wordpress before please raise your hands and who are no, never contributed is there anyone yeah you wanna go, gonna learn a lot from this session okay so our next session uh, next speaker is naoko takano she is a regular contributor and uh, wordpress is the uh, is the community and for the community wordpress is a project for the community and by the community and uh, our next speaker is naoko takano she has been she has been a force within the wordpress community for over two decades starting her journey back in 2003 by translating wp documentation into her native language correct me if i am wrong she is the one of among few people who started the loca uh, wp localization and she is not just a contributor nauko has been the heart of organizing wordcamps meetups do action in japan and in asia as well and as a project manager for contributor growth initiative she is played a pivotal role in helping uh, in helping shaping the future of wordpress focusing on projects like mentorship program and five for the future she was the global lead for first flagship event wordcamp asia 2023 and the preparation goes for four more than four years from 2019 to 2023 she was the biggest longest preparation wordcamp today nauko is here to share her insight in her talk with titled insights from wordpress contribution what makes us impactful she will take us on a journey through the heart of the wordpress community exploring what drives impactful collaboration from data to real life experiences nauko will show us how we can enrich our collaborative efforts in any setting i would like to call her on stage please give a big round applause to nauko <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> Thank you. I'm so excited to be here on the stage again on at the uh, uh, WordCamp Asia. Um, so yes. Um, um, okay. Hello. My name is Naoko Takano. As I was introduced, I am um, uh, I was the one of the uh, global leads for WordCamp Asia 2023, along with some fresh here <laughs> and JC Palmas, who was the contributor day lead for uh, the two days before. <laughs> so as you can see, um, it was the longest uh, pre uh, longest planning. Uh, World Camp in the uh, history. Uh, for those who didn't know, uh, we started planning in 2015 uh, about the idea of the World Camp Asia, and we actually started uh, organizing in 2019. And the pandemic uh, stopped us from having the event, so we paused for two years. And in 2023, we were able to have the event finally. So um, that was one of the uh, happiest day of my life to end the world camp. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna talk about my WordPress journey a little bit. Um, Pooja shared my history a little bit, but as I, uh, as she said, I've been involved in WordPress for uh, two decades, which is scary long time. Uh, so uh, I started using WordPress in 2003 as a just a user because I was uh, not a, a web professional at the time. I was working for a Japanese uh, automotive company in Michigan uh, doing a temp administrative assistant job. And my dream was to become a web designer. 
uh, but I didn't know how because uh, I graduated from school, uh, college in, um, you know, a graphic design degree. And I'm just kind of, I was struggling to find my first uh, job to get involved in the, uh, this internet web industry. Uh, it was early time, you know. So, uh, but I was kind of reading things online, you know, blogs at the time was becoming popular. I found lots of design blogs and designer blogs, web design blogs. And I found a, a hooter of one of the, you know, my favorite blogs uh, said, not WordPress, but movable type, which was the another uh, type of blogging software. And then uh, from that, I started, you know, installing movable type, uh, getting stuck, and also uh, discovering WordPress um, and fell in love because it was so easy to customize, so easy to use. And as a designer, um, it was uh, such a fun experience to customize it with a template and CSS. So that's still, you know, the user part of my journey. And I started contributing, as uh, Pooja said, uh, documentation, WordPress itself, forums. So, you know, as a non-coder, I knew, knew a little bit of code, coding, but not much. So I was kind of trying to spread the word about WordPress to the Japanese community. So that's what, how I got involved, because there's so much things to, to be done for, you know, letting people know what the WordPress you know, this software is. So I didn't know what I was doing exactly. I didn't know anything about open source. I just started doing things that was ahead of me that seemed, you know, important or seemed uh, needed. So that was my first phase. And that's my first contributor uh, phase. And thanks to WordPress, I was able to become web designer because of the skill that was still Emerging time for CSS, <laughs> uh, which might sound very weird for younger people. Uh, CSS was early stage of adaptation, but uh, thanks to WordPress, I got to learn how to use it, you know, templating, uh, you know, uh, at the time, theme didn't exist. It was CSS and a PHP file. And thanks to WordPress, I got to um, learn the latest skill of web which was not adopted by the industry yet. So when you know blogging became, became popular, I got to um, get some you know job making templates for some blogging software, uh, blogging you know uh, theme for you know company blogs. So that was um, where my uh, contributor journey and my professional journey kind of uh, converged for the first time. I even got to write the books. Uh, uh, two books about WordPress in Japan, in Japanese. And uh, I got a, a job at an agency uh, doing web design, which was like my dream come true. Uh, I worked for uh, websites like uh, uh, Sherry.com or Navy.com, which is like kind of a high-end uh, type of agency job. So it was like uh, not possible without WordPress. So I became uh, more involved as a community manager. And at the time, I had to explain about the photo. Uh, I went to WordCamp San Francisco in 2007. I met Matt Mullenweg, who is a co-founder of WordPress. And uh, I asked him, what can I do to uh, spread the word about the WordPress? How can I make uh, WordPress popular in Japan? And he said, you should do a WordCamp, like, just like that. And I'm like, OK, I'll do a WordCamp. <laughs> And yeah, small thing like that, you know, um, small encouragement like that can really make a big difference because without that, I don't think I had done WordCamp uh, for this many years and maybe WordCamp Asia uh, wouldn't exist in a, this shape. So that was 2007. Um, my first WordCamp organization was 2009, WordCamp Tokyo and the Tokyo community grew bigger. And uh, this is a, a designer of WAPU. She's an illustrator of WAPU. Uh, she's, uh, her name is uh, Kazuko Kaneuchi. And uh, this was one of WordCamp Osaka moment. And then, yes, and then I <laughs> had a job. Uh, I, gained a, uh, I uh, was hired by Automatic as a customer support happiness engineer in 2010, shortly after WordCamp, uh, first WordCamp uh, in Japan. And uh, 
um, yeah, my journey from then was, you know, doing my work at Automatic, um, getting some, you know, some involvement in the community, continuing to translate, continuing to, you know, uh, grow the community. Then um, I, my professional role changed to localization manager, which is, um, you know, um, turning WordPress.com into multiple uh, languages. So uh, at the time, um, I was having hard time balancing my uh, professional role and community role um, because uh, uh, WordPress.com uh, is, you know, similar to WordPress.org, but a little bit separate from um, the community. And I had two kids, you know, my son, my daughter. Uh, my daughter is go going to turn 10. So uh, in, you know, in the middle of this journey, I was struggling to find time to contribute. But uh, again, thanks to Automatic, I am now a full-time contributor uh, working on the projects like uh, Five for the Future and the uh, uh, contributor mentorship program. So that's a long time, uh, but as I uh, explained, a um, little bit of um, progression in my journey helped me to get where I am. So uh, I'm excited to you know share how I got here and uh, what uh, made a difference in my journey. So as I said, yes, this is my role, uh, open source project manager. This was an event in uh, last year in summer. We had a, a Tokyo Five for the Future event and it was very successful. And some of the <laughs> attendees are here too. <laughs> so um, have you seen? Uh, people wanting to contribute. I know, you know, some of the people who raise hand who never contributed to WordPress. I'm sure you came here because you want to, you know, learn how to contribute. There's so many people who want to contribute to WordPress, and you know, even though we keep saying we need more contributors, I think there are more contributors who want to contribute, but uh, not, you know, exactly. Uh, able to do that. So there's a lack of contribution, which is, you know, even from experienced contributors, they don't always know exactly where uh, they, sh they, they can contribute the most, you know, be impactful. So there's some disconnect between, you know, want and, you know, leading that to actual contribution that is, you know, uh, impactful for them and uh, uh, and the, the project itself. At the same time, we always see joy of contribution. Uh, people keep doing it because it's fun, because it's enjoyable, it's meaningful, and whenever you make something, you know, uh, some kind of contribution that is, um, you know, worthwhile or impactful for the people or the uh, project, you feel this, you know, excitement. Um, I think that's what kept me in this community. It was very different from anything I experienced outside of this, um, you know, project. It's somehow, you know, maybe it's connecting to someone you never knew in the world to, you know, uh, be able to help or um, some kind of uh, like big impact WordPress had to, you know, people in their life. Uh, it makes you so happy to be able to be part of this uh, project because it's not something you can get from outside of this uh, open source contribution. So you see these three things, um, you know, how can we embrace the want? You know, there are people who want to contribute, but there's lack of contribution, you know, connecting them to uh, actual contribution activities and sustaining it. And, you know, we want to make them happy and we want to make us happy by having lots of contributors who are active and, you know, enjoying their um, activities. That's my question. That's my, you know, work. That's my mission. So let's go through, you know, some of the uh, ideas about about how to make it happen. Uh, this is my favorite book, Art of Community. It's a Japanese version because uh, it has a different subtitle. Uh, I wrote about this in, in my blog and uh, someone who read that in Japanese said like he was very inspired, so I decided to include it. The subtitle is how to connect the desire to contribute to lead to success, to results. And that's, uh, 
only in Japanese version, it has this uh, uh, subtitle, and the uh, book is out of community. It's a uh, little older than uh, another book with the same title, <laughs> but uh, I remember this, uh, you know, cover. I think the uh, English version has the same cover. So I love the um, idea about how can we like bring this want and you know connect it with the um, you know the actual contribution and that lead to success. That's my you know uh, big question in my um, journey. So uh, five for the future is one of the uh, initiative to help the um, five for the future is the um, promoting the WordPress community's contribution to the pro platform's growth. So. Currently, we have this pledge system where companies and individuals can say, "Hey, I want to contribute," and from there, uh, it's you know me and Hari Shankar, he is <laughs> uh, my co, uh, I guess, buddy for this project, and we try to help people and organizations um, uh, succeed in their contribution journey. So pledges. Just like that, uh, there's contribute as organization and as an individual, you can pledge to, you know, say that I contribute to WordPress. So this is available uh, as of now. So if you have questions about that, uh, let me know. Uh, so the state of five for the future, about the twenty percent of the uh, pledges who uh, raised hand to say they will contribute. Uh, as an individual who are not sponsored, who are not paid to do their contribution work. Um, this is a number uh, percentage that uh, is for the self-sponsored contributors who are active. So this means they have logged in, uh, they had some kind of activity on wordpress.org. Um, so it's small, like, you know, I know we have people who've been, you know, leaving and you know not getting involved again but even though people say they want to get involved they don't always succeed in the, uh, the journey and for the company sponsored contributors so for example godaddy yoast 10 up they have like several people uh, pledged to uh, contribute to wordpress as part of their work so you know during like 40 hours or you know five hours uh, on their work day they contribute to wordpress uh, of those company sponsors sponsored contributors we still only have 60 percent who are active so some of the top companies they have like much higher uh, activity you know percentage for example automatic i'm sure it's close to 100% except for people taking leave because that's our full-time job. But some companies say, okay, we want to contribute, but it doesn't lead to actual contribution, unfortunately. And uh, also 21% of those, you know, 60% 60 60 of company uh, contributions are, we would say, impactful. Uh, I think every uh, contribution is meaningful. But uh, maybe some of it uh, is not as impactful for us. For example, core contribution or you know event organization. Uh, there is you know small things you can do, but uh, company sponsored contributors they might be waiting to be connected to, to projects that they can make impact. So only twenty one percent um, you know in, involved in these impactful projects. We have so many individuals who want to contribute, um, but desires and motivation is not enough. So, you know, how, why can't we connect the want with the joy of the contribution? Uh, my, you know, observation through these twenty years, <laughs> I think it it's uh, it has several, you know, uh, factors. Uh, contributors get stuck, many get stuck at getting started. They say they want to, and they don't have any opportunity to actually get started. And they're like, I don't know what I'm doing, and then leave, you know. Maybe you have seen people like that. Uh, maybe you have helped people like that. But this is a super common thing, uh, which is maybe uh, surprising for you, for people who, like me, who started earlier, because it was easier when time was simple. 
And sustaining the activity can be hard, maybe because it's a uh, life situation or uh, other things. Um, you can say like, I'm gonna do it, and then you do it like for a short period of time, and then you go away. And make impact, as I said, finding a project that is you know, impactful and that's available for you. Uh, there's a concept of a uh, contributor ladder, which is a blog post by Josefa, <laughs> and you can uh, check out later. Uh, the ladder is first stage is connecting, so maybe WordCamp is your opportunity, or you go into Slack and you connect with people, and you understand, you know, your surrounding, how things go, and you engage, and then you perform then you come up, become a leader, you know, encouraging others. So um, it's not always smooth ladder, even for me, myself, I think I was lucky to be able to kind of, you know, find my way, but it took a long time. Um, so um, how can we, you know, optimize this ladder? Uh, what blocks us? Um, I'm sure you familiar, you're familiar with this if you're involved. But there are, you know, lack of resources. Uh, even though we have so much like information about contributing, um, documentation, and everything, there still isn't enough. It seems that um, we are able to activate all the people who want to become active. And sometimes there's lack of credit direction in some things, and uh, lack of collaboration is a big challenge. We are dispersed and some people are doing one thing, other people are doing the same thing. We don't always find find out. And also, of course, it's burnout. out. Um, how can we unblock? So I think this is for um, everybody is interested to you know be more successful in your journey. Even if you're already active, maybe you can think about how you can help others to unblock their um, you know, contribution blockers. For, first, uh, provide or find resources. Of course, if there's no resource, uh, we need to provide it. And it's not about, you know, uh, written documentation or onboarding sessions. We need time and skills and peers or mentors to help out. Uh, for example, if your company uh, supporting your uh, contributor uh, employees, uh, have a time set aside, even one hour every quarter, or you know, few hours one day. Uh, for example, Yoast does this. Uh, contributor day happens regularly. I think a couple times uh, a year. Next edition is April 18th. Uh, they have set aside a day to host a contributor day, which is similar to the day one of WordCamp Asia, but online. Uh, for the guests and your uh, employees can join offline at the, the office. So this is the one way to say, hey, this is a day for contribution. Um, that way you can continue to do it on that day for sure. Another one is uh, have an internal resource and use it. Uh, RT Camp have learning courses for the employees uh, that Includes contribution to WordPress. This is not like entire part of their uh, training, but they teach new hires skills to you know as a part of their training to contribute uh, to WordPress. So it's their part of their training process, which uh, you know helps gain their skills and you know expand in the community. Uh, Web Dev Studios, uh, they have five for the future Friday. So on a, a day, I think it's a once a month. Uh, they have regularly held the internal day for contribution. So JC, who was a co-lead of WordCamp Asia last year, she would spend Friday, you know, working on WordPress WordCamp things, and she said, "I'll do it on a Friday because I have time set aside from my company." Um, another one is uh, WordPress Contributor Mentorship Program. This is another resource uh, people can use. Uh, this cohort has started already for this. Uh, you know, this time around, but we plan on having more in the future. So if you know anybody who wants to get started, uh, keep an eye on the uh, idea for this contributor mentorship program. Uh, we'll be, you know, collecting more uh, people, f uh, calling more people to uh, be mentee and mentors. So, you know, once you have a resource, um, we need to share and find a clear direction. 
uh, if you are in a position to, you know, uh, read a uh, project, of course, we need to share it. But if you, uh, you know, the person to find the direction, uh, to stay informed, you know, um, it's best to be connected and ask questions. And you also need to like, set priorities for yourself because it, it's the direction is not just given to you, but you need to set your own direction. And without that, uh, it's really easy to get uh, lost. So. Don't just say like I'm just going to keep doing the same thing, but maybe to you know come up, you know climb up the ladder of contribution. Try something new. Try something you know more difficult and you know or you know expanding your skills and you know experience. Um, set a priority to let's say like I'm gonna try to become a volunteer next time. Try to you know uh, send a PR to uh, uh, you know Gutenberg uh, repository. Do something different to you know, um, you know, expand your uh, uh, experience so that you can start to see more and more uh, different types of uh, con uh, contribution and stay informed. Uh, and collaborate, of course, uh, we all know collaboration is the uh, uh, best way to get something done in the WordPress community. Uh, we've learned through, you know, WordCamp, uh, of course, projects. Uh, open source itself is a, a result of collaboration. So communicate well, uh, even though we only get to talk to each other often online. Uh, written communication is the key of how we get, you know, things done. So be careful with the, your language, and if you English is not your first language. Uh, learning it is of course important, but you know, uh, communication is just beyond that. So maybe you know, look at the people who are uh, doing well and learn from their, you know, what they're doing. So uh, and then working it open, uh, open source is open. <laughs> so you need to work together, uh, not just you know, uh, get things done in a direct message. Get more people involved, uh, share information, and more people who want to uh, help will be you know, able to help. Without you opening up the opportunity, they won't be able to find what needs to be done. And help others uh, to collaborate, you know, work together, uh, matching people who are you know, looking for something uh, from each other. Uh, so we can do a lot uh, in here. Um, so this is, comes from outside of WordPress or open source, but I thought it was interesting. Um, there's more, more and more things to know, especially you know as the project goes uh, into you know twenty first year and it gets bigger, more complicated, more people are involved. There's always more things to know. It's not possible to know everything. I learned in WordCamp Asia <laughs> organization, it's much bigger than local WordCamp. There's so much to know. So you need to be able to trust others and work with them and help them uh, become a good leader. Otherwise, uh, you can't do everything. Um, so you will you know, be forced to learn uh, doing things uh, with others. And that helps avoiding burn burning out uh, because by you know delegating uh, work to others, you can you know have time for yourself. Rest, self care is very important because that's the only way you can you know stay in the community and keep contributing long term and keep building the um, you know uh, network that is needed for working together. So these are the tips for you know. Um, becoming more impactful, uh, provide resources for yourself and others, uh, share and find a clear direction, collaborate, align uh, with user needs. I, yeah, I skipped it, but I originally had it, I'm sorry. Avoid burning out. So what makes us impactful? I'm coming back to this first question. Um, my uh, theory is, that we need to think long-term advancement of growth of the ecosystem. If you're starting out, maybe it doesn't feel quite you know, uh, important as other things that you need to learn. But I think what, draw, uh, what has been dri driving me is that I care about WordPress, I care about the community, and I care about the long-term. 
uh, um, existence of the, uh, the ecosystem. So the decisions I have been making is, okay, I will be able to fix this in the long term. So I will choose a, a you know, slow way. That way, you know, you, you can always, you know, uh, have the result in the long term. So I would say don't focus on, you know, short term result uh, if you have, uh, the mind of five for the future, not the five percent part, but the future part. You will always be able to, you know, uh, work together and uh, contribute to the future of the world. Best only way to, you know, uh, be able to make the first five for the future successful is to, you know, uh, to uh, have the future mindset and think about how you can you know, strategically uh, contribute to WordPress and not just to you know, focus on things in front of you, but uh, think as a community, think as an uh, ecosystem. You need to help out, you need help from others. We work together and that's the only way for the future WordPress to be able to have a successful uh, state. So let's build the future of WordPress better together and uh, that's that's uh, uh that's my hope and i hope that's your uh, desire to be here in this room i will hope this uh, con uh, conversation will continue and uh, we will be able to talk more about this five for the future and wordpress contribution in the course of the day and uh, uh, after this event thank you Thank you so much, Naoko, for this, this amazing session. And if anyone have any question, please feel, feel free to ask. Is there any question? Yes, please. Um, first step, first step. Uh, there's a contributor tool uh, at make.wordpress.org slash contribute. Correct. Yes. So there's a, a tool that you can choose your contributor, um, you know, path based on your skill and desire. But at the same time, uh, since you're here at the WordCamp Asia, I would encourage you to talk to others. You know, there's a, a help hub table in the second floor sponsored uh, area. Uh, there's a way to um, they'll teach you how to get involved in the Slack for make WordPress and they'll help you. So please talk to people and what's your name? Michael. Michael. And please help Michael. <laughs> Thank you. Is there anyone else who want to ask question? I have a question if I can. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What uh, people, how can we motivate people to contribute? Mm -hmm. I mean, how can people contribute? Mm -hmm. How can uh, how can we help uh, people contribute, and how can we motivate help, them? Help? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, so I think motivation always comes from your desire and interest. But uh, I was motivated through you know small encouragement. You know, even from the beginning, not just from Matt, but everybody who were around me. So don't hesitate to say you know things like you're doing a great job, you're doing meaningful things, you helped me. I think small, uh, you know, care care, uh, care to others that goes uh, far away. It sometimes is kind of, you know, hesitating to say that, but if someone does a great job, I sometimes send you, you know, I send you a message, you're yes. doing so, such a great job. I think that uh, keeps you going because you realize, okay, I'm doing something meaningful. So don't assume people know that. Um, people like Pooja, I think it needs to be said, even though it's so obvious, you know, you might think, oh, she knows, but you know, it helps a lot. Yeah. I can still remember my first message back in 27, 2017, when I first time attending Polyglot's meeting. And right after the meeting, you messaged me and encouraged me to contribute more. Oh, yeah. The first time was, it was amazing. 
and uh, when you get appreciation from the seniors and it was like seniors and who are already contributing it is always awesome feeling awesome yeah yeah so if you're already contributing i think everybody feels oh someone who is already doing you know see me so yeah D uh, slack dm let's do it more yes. for those purpose yes <laughs> How we can encourage companies to contribute to open source project? Mm -hmm. For the companies to contribute. Uh, I would say we need to find a sweet spot of where they can benefit from you know, contributing to WordPress and how WordPress, contribute, uh, WordPress benefit from their contribution. For example, you know, I know like Google hosting companies, they're interested in security and performance. They work on it. It makes sense. So don't just think like it's an obligation to help WordPress. It is an opportunity for you to make a change into the direction that you want to. Uh, find something that it helps your business uh, through contribution. And if you have a question about that, me and Hari, we're happy to answer uh, all the you know specific questions about your co company contribution. Just one. <laughs> Yes, please. I have two questions. Okay. One for sorry. <laughs> uh, one for folks who are contributing for the first time. They know where they would like to contribute. Mm -hmm. um, like they've decided on the team and they know kind of what they want to do. Where should they go to figure out like more about what what the teams are doing? Like where they meet, what they are looking at, what they're trying to do as like their beginner first time contribution and the second question is for companies that looked at your presentation mm -hmm. and realized like they didn't know that they could sponsor some of their employees time like mm -hmm. where could they go to say like I'm ready to to help an employee contribute how do I get that done okay so the first question uh, what people find out uh, I would say make that wordpress.org front page has a uh, you know, uh, links to each team and document, hand handbook, meetings. So meeting is, you know, team meetings that happens on Slack is the best way to, you know, say hello and ask questions, uh, even though you can ask questions anytime on Slack. So if you're not, you know, asking question in person, uh, Slack and make WordPress uh, website has all the information, but I, I know we need to improve uh, in uh, first, um, you know, good first bug kind of things for every team. We don't exactly have page to send people to. The tool is great, but after that, they might feel lost. So I think it's uh, area to contribute, uh, area to contribute for others, you know, to help contributors. So we need to have some work. And for uh, companies, yes, that's another thing we need to uh, uh, improve. I have this email, get involved at wordpress.org. Uh, we can you know, have you con contact us, but uh, we don't have exact way of pointing people to you know, uh, where to work on. I would point to you know, just as far as possible, you know, uh, big things for 2024, is that right? Yeah, so she lists uh, important projects for this year, including uh, data liberation and, you know, corn, things like that. So uh, the make.wordpress.org slash project is one of the location to find out, but we are also working on a dashboard for contributor, which will help um, help new contributors and experienced contributors to find the uh, um, most important you know, things to work on. Uh, for some teams, they have good first bug uh, tag for GitHub uh, issues. So yeah, but finding that could be also <laughs> a problem. So we need a better you know, uh, onboarding of new people. So yes, thanks for the question. Thank you for your answer. They're amazing. And we have a token for token of appreciation for you. Just give me a minute. OK, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And let's keep talking. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. We have our next uh, session in 20 minutes. So uh, please feel free to uh, get water, water, and what you want and we will be back in 20 minutes here thank you